What's up everyone? Today I got some exciting news for you guys and a crazy unboxing. Check this box out. Listen, that's a lot of stuff in there. Like I didn't expect this much stuff. Like this is amazing. This box right here came from Bait Finesse Empire. And um, before I spoil the whole thing, cause uh, he told me that there is a letter for me and a letter for uh, you guys. They currently have uh, Instagram, uh, but they will have a store very, very soon. And um, yeah, I mean, you guys could already guess by the name, Bait Finesse Empire could be selling a lot of Bait Finesse stuff. That's right. I mean, uh, America has been lacking Bait Finesse tackle, especially rods and reels. That's what they're gonna be selling. And they're also gonna be selling a lot of lures. And um, yeah, he sent me some goodies here, Amir, from uh, Bait Finesse Empire. And like I said, there's some letter in here. So why don't we open it up? Let me read uh, the one that's for you guys. I'm gonna read the one for myself later. And then let me share with you guys all these goodies in here. Like, I don't even know what's in here. I'm so excited. Um, I know um, it's gonna be a lot, likely a lot of JDM stuff. Let's just say that, okay? So this is gonna be very, very exciting. All right, got it. Got it all cut open, fresh out of the box. And let's take a look here. There are definitely two letters here. Oh, look at that. Um, let's see. Okay, this one's for me, okay? So that's for me, I'll read it myself. And I think this one's for you guys. Yeah, th this one's for me. All right, well, this letter's for you guys, so let me read it. Jimmy, we are really excited to share this gift box with you, packaged with lots of love and JDM Lords ship from right here, America, by Bait Finesse Empire. Bait Finesse Empire, what? What do you say? Well, we're in America, the first Bait Finesse focused Tackle retailer, of course, and we started with only one goal in mind. Spread the love of BFS in the USA. That's what I'm talking about, guys. You guys know me. I have a strong passion when it comes to my fishing styles. And ever since I got addicted to BFS fishing, that's all I've been focusing on is to spread the love of BFS fishing in the fishing community of the United States. So this is very, very exciting to me. All right, let me keep reading uh, this to you guys. So we're testing finesse tackle from all over the world, lures, rods, reels, really just about anything we could find to bring a selection of our personal favorite right here to America for everyone to enjoy. That is what I'm talking about, guys. That is exactly what I'm talking about. We partnered up with some of our favorite BFS YouTubers like, hey, me, Roar Fishing. <laughs> so watch out for sneak peeks, in-depth reviews, tips, tricks, all related to finesse tackle and BFS. And wink, wink. Maybe even something special with Jimbo's biggest fan along the way. <gasps> Look at that. It sounds like he's hinting to me that there's gonna be sponsored giveaways from Bait Finesse Empire. That sounds exciting, yeah guys? Sounds exciting. Bait Finesse Empire is ready to be launched soon, so keep an eye out on our website at baitfinesseempire.com and find us on Instagram at baitfinesseempire, which I'll leave right here so you guys can find it. And also, I'll leave a link within the description below. Give us a like, share, Retro high five. <laughs> we love to see your biggest fans there. Okay, well, I definitely gotta give them a shout out on my videos. So you guys better check them out on Instagram and I'll give them a follow. <laughs> this last line is pretty funny, ready? Well, the fish don't wait and neither can we. So dig in, get out on the water, and most importantly, have lots of fun. For the glory of finesse, your f friend and fan, Amir, Bait Finesse Empire. This is an awesome letter and awesome package of stuff. Anyway, guys. Let's get over there so I could put, well, I gotta check out this nasty table first. And um, yeah, let's look at some of these awesome JDM lures that he sent me. Let's go guys, let's go. <laughs> guys, this is pretty funny. So um, Amir likely gotten a lot of these newspaper that is uh, from Japan when he ordered all these JDM stuff, but there's like all these articles, like newspapers, like fishing articles or something. Look at that. Give you some pointers on how to fish on a party boat. You better. Flip your stuff properly. Don't, <laughs> don't hook up on the guy next to you. They'll be mad. They'll probably samurai chop your, uh, your head off or something like that. But anyways, why don't we get started? There's just so much stuff in here. I don't even know where to go. I have a list of stuff and they're not in the same order. So I'm just gonna start off with this bag here and I can reference stuff, okay? But yeah, there's a lot more stuff in here and that is insane. Like I said, it's, it's really insane. So let's take a look at some of these stuff. All right, so we got some spoons here. One fell out, so I might as well just take this guy out so you guys can see it. Or is it Rodeo Craft? Craft Rodeo? I think it's Rodeo Craft. It's, it's, on, it's on top right there. So it's Rodeo and Craft. So 
Is it craft rodeo? Rodeo craft. His his paper says rodeo craft, so it's rodeo craft, okay? But yeah, it's a spoon. So this guy right here, this little brown color right here, it's three point three grams. And this one right here is uh, also same thing, three point three grams. I love three point three grams or three point five grams. That's technically the the trout spoons that I use in my streams. So that that is gonna be interesting. Single hook, okay? As like bends that I've never seen before on a hook. So it looks like I have a few bends here. It has one bend here, one bend here, and this is completely, completely barbless, okay? So let's focus. Barbless, so I got some barbless hooks. That's great, because there are definitely catch and release waters that I want to try and play with uh, some uh, barbless hooks. Makes catch and release for the trout a lot easier, so it's gonna be fun. Let me switch uh, my lens for a second, guys. Hold up. All right, I just changed my lens so it's zoomed out a little bit better. I only have a non-zoomless lens. So um, there are prime lenses, so it's probably better with this on the table. But check that out. Again, they're um, barbless hooks, spoons at 3.3 grams. In my opinion, these looks pretty good. The painting is very, very interesting. It's like maybe powder painted? I have no idea. This it feels so different than uh, the typical uh, paint, like the, like the metallic airbrush paint spoons that I'd be using. So it's interesting. And um, you know, brown colors are pretty good in the morning, especially uh, early season when it's pretty dark in the mornings, especially the opening day. So I'm, I'm looking forward to use this. I'm looking at the split rings. They all look good. Some of those uh, Chinese uh, spoons that I purchased in the past, some of the, the, the split rings are terrible, especially when they pair it with the wrong hooks. But uh, everything here looks good. I like them. Let's move on. All right, so we got some inline spinners here and this guy's kind of out of whack. But spin walk, clevis. I guess that's just for uh, spinners. But it looks great, three grams. Let's open this guy up because I like the flashier one, okay? I kind of want to open the other one right there because it's like out of place and I just want to put it back in place, my OCD. But we'll just, we'll just deal with this guy. And um, can I slide this? It's like glued on top. No, it's stapled right here, all right. I got it, got it, I got it. All right, let's get this out, shall we? All right, let's inspect this little guy. Wow, this is pretty cool looking. All right, check this out. This is a genius idea. So you guys know that some inline spinners will cause your uh, line to spin, right? Well, let me show you guys this. I am spinning this right now, and you guys notice that um, the hook's not spinning in it. Uh, nothing's really twisting, right? Because everything's kind of swiveled right here. But the other thing is this guy here. See how I'm pushing this guy? Look at this weight. This weight right here will always uh, lay down. So even without the swivel, I have a feeling that this thing probably won't twist. So that, that's actually pretty cool. So I would love to see a lot more companies use uh, stuff like this as a cue weight, you know? That is interesting. And this is also barbless. I have a feeling that most of the trout stuff uh, from this package is gonna be barbless. Because a lot of places in Japan, when they do uh, their mountain stream uh, trout fishing, is always catch and release. So right out of package, it is barbless. That is pretty cool. Three grams once again, a size four hook. I have to say, man, this looks really great. And I think this uh, this might be a UV pearl looking like a bead. And let me just grab this guy very quick. Same bead, silver, but it's black blade. So yeah, they're they're pretty cool. Very awesome. Very awesome. All right, this next guy is the only guy in that bag that's uh, by itself, right? Oh, wait, there's another spoon here, which we'll come back to. Let me actually bring these out for a second. What the heck are these? All right, we'll, we'll talk about these later. So we got some line and some crazy looking lore. But uh, check this out. This is ins the Insight. Let me just take a look at his little thing right there. It's from Smith. All right, Smith. I love Smith stuff. I've always looked at their stuff and uh, they've been a little pricey, especially the, the trout serger. Um, that's like one of the lures that I, I, I kind of want to get, but I've been playing around with the knockoff. But in, in, enough about that. We are focusing on the first official Smith LTD lure that I will be throwing. Look at that. Interesting body. Look at that. The back part right there. I wonder if this is going to cause this thing to wobble differently at the tail end. It's, uh, it's totally flat. Look at that. Flat. Very flat. Some sharp, sh uh, sharp hooks, they are barbed, and likely I will have to sw switch them off to uh, single hooks, so that, uh, uh, yeah, it's for trout fishing. So I think this might be a sinker. It doesn't say here, at least, oh yes it does. Heavy sinking minnow, four grams, okay, 4.4 millimeters. Looks good. I like the color, this is definitely a color that 
will probably work really, really well in my water. So I am very excited. Oh man, but so much lures here. I don't even know how could I use all of them within one trout fishing season. I might have to uh, go more trout fishing. What do you guys say, eh? All right, let's jump to this guy right here. This is Forrest. Forrest, what is this? The Miu, Miu, okay, 3.5 uh, grams. And uh, is there a way to open this without destroying a package? Looks like I could do it here. See guys, I try not to destroy these packages so I can put them all back in the right package because uh, I don't have the right tackle box or enough tackle boxes to put everything in together. I gotta prep my trout boxes and you know my crappy boxes and stuff like that. So uh, it's gonna be interesting. I probably need to buy new boxes. So uh, in the meantime, leave me a comment below. What's your favorite uh, spoon box and your jerkbait box and et cetera, et cetera for BFS fishing. Just leave me a comment below. Uh, but anyways, check this out. This spoon is like a little S leaf shape. This looks like the stuff that uh, a lot of people try to copy on um, AliExpress. Everything's perfect. Uh, the split ring is perfect. They put uh, put the right split ring on without any damage. And again, the hook is barbless, single hook. Pretty neat. Uh, I wish the top actually came with a split ring. Uh, but it's okay, I could just put a snap on and call it a day. And one thing I know is about the, the Rodeo Craft, same thing, they, there's nothing on top. So um, yeah, probably just use a, a quick snap and just call it a day. Look, look, Looking good. I mean, this color is so interesting because like it's some sort of blue with a little bit of white here, but these, this is like a sparkling blue. Um, I, call, I guess you call it metallic pearl. And uh, the glitter in there is like orange, red, change colors. Uh, looks like there's a chip right there, oops. Probably from uh, the hook, right? And the back is black. Definitely, definitely a spoon that I would definitely love to throw. It's perfect. All right, the next thing is this guy here. This is so interesting. And it's Daiwa. Holy crap. Uh, I didn't know Daiwa make lures. I mean, you guys probably know this by now, whoever didn't follow me. And I don't <laughs> have that much JDM stuff. Last year is my first time owning two JDM reels, and um, now I'm exploring JDM lures. But uh, this guy looks so interesting. They call this uh, trout stick, I think. Hold up, let me check out the information right there. So this is the Daiwa trout twig. Trout twig, interesting. It is 60 millimeters and 1.5 grams. What? 1.5 grams, that is insane. So it's like a little lighter than 1 16th ounce. Uh, wow, I guess I'll be throwing this guy with my Daiwa Alphas Air TW. I mean, it looks so crazy. It's like a freaking just a stick. Oh, look at this. So it's supposed to be like wiggly wiggly. All right, I gotta look this up on uh, YouTube and see how to fish this. But uh, I like stick baits. A lot of time with stick baits, uh, sinking ones, you could just let that thing carried by the current and it does a lot of action but man i can't take this out come on let's go all right let's try to get this out come on oh here we go all right again with the barbless hook single hook but this is insane totally insane so this this is looks like a rope okay this looks like a toy and it has a lip upward so it's kind of like the scrounger jig i think it's called right the jig that when you pull it goes up it's like a opposite of a, a crankbait so yeah, I have a feeling that the way we will fish this is we just swim it slowly, slow row, as slow as possible. But if you reel fast, likely it's gonna dart upwards. But yeah, look at that. Looks insane. This might be one of the first lures I will throw for trout when I'm on the, in the streams. This gotta be it. What do you guys say, huh? Let me know in the comments. All right, and then now I have some leader material or just plain old line. Fluorocarbon, 100%. This is a popular brand, uh, Very, Very Vas, if I'm pronouncing it right. But man, look at these diameter here. That's pretty, pretty thin stuff. True four pound test line, and this is a two and a half pound. This, this is interesting, shock leader, huh? Interesting. So it looks like Jimbo is gonna be carrying these around. It's gonna be helpful, very, very helpful. Especially uh, most of the time I do use mono. Uh, so if I really, really need a, a leader that will sink and a lot more uh, clearer than uh, mono, I could use this. Or if I do, if one day I decide to go braided line and uh, just throw leaders on, I could do this. But uh, definitely this is gonna be great for BFS fishing. So this is, this is fun. Anyways, uh, you guys ready for part two of this? I mean, holy crap, look at this. Got some more left to go. Let me clear this out and let's continue 
talking about these goodies, all right? So the next bag is right here, all right? Anything else that's hidden in there? More newspaper? All right, so anyways, uh, there's a bag here. I'm gonna leave that there for now. All right, so we got some more uh, line right here. Bait finesse, uh, nylon, okay, okay. So I am assuming this is mono, four pound. Uh, high vis, orange. That's interesting. I know a lot of people said, uh, commented on my Instagram before because I use a uh, orange line or green line for my freaking trout fishing. And yes, I do catch a lot of trout with a uh, high vis line. Yeah, I got a lot of crap from it. But anyways, uh, that's, that's my problem when people uh, comment on my uh, Instagram. More orange line. I love orange line. That's, I mean, it's part of my logo, right? So, bait finesse. So yeah, let's take a look at this for a second. It looks like this guy here is thinner than the floral. Very interesting, huh? Well, I definitely uh, need some of this for trout season because trout season is like right around the corner. All right, let's take a look at this. What do we got here? Uh, the biggest box stood out here. It's a bug, bug dog. What the heck is this from Jackal? That looks so interesting. All right, hold up. Let's open this bad boy up. Take a look at it. 3.1 grams, 37 millimeters. Looks like I got some extra wings. Interesting. Yep, so these are extra wings, extra legs. All right, let me pop this out. Here we go. And uh, do I pop this out soft? Oh my gosh. You guys, what the heck? What the heck is this? There's no, no, there's no hooks. Is this, is this a float or something? I have no idea what this is. Is there English here? Let me read this. Okay. So, oh, so you put the hook through here. Okay, there's a hole right here. All right, it's some sort of a, maybe some sort of rubber right here, okay? So you stick your hook through here and you just cast it. Oh, I guess I'll get some sort of a wheelless wacky rig hook or something and rig it through. Looks like it has some sort of rattles inside. Very small. It doesn't really, really rattle, rattle. But yeah, this is interesting. This, these are all plastic, plastic materials. I guess you just slide it into the slot right there. And this one, you slide it through the back right here. It looks like this is gonna look very natural on the top water. That's, that's very interesting. I gotta get some translation here. What sort of hook do I need? Oh, look, here's some instructions right here on how to um, take, uh, put the wings and the legs back on. But oh, wow, this this is very interesting. What do you guys think? Would you guys throw this? Definitely gonna be a fun lure to throw uh, sometime in the summertime or late spring, especially with all the panfish and bass that's in a shallow water. This this could be fun. V very interesting. I, I I don't even know what to say about this because it's it's so different, you know. Bug dog. What do you guys think? The bug dog looks crazy. Can't wait to throw this baby. Next thing's next. The jackal. The micro. Tappy surface weight bait. Okay, so it's a micro weight bait. That is pretty crazy. So it has a huge lip here so that it caused a lot of commotion on top of the water. And didn't I say that this year is gonna be the year of cicadas? Oh man, this this is crazy because it has this guy right here. Little little um willow blade in the front, and then you have a little tail in the back. I don't know if this floats, does it rattle? It doesn't look like I have anything in here, but it looks kind of hollow. So I guess this will float too, and it's gotta be whacking this lure you hear it right yeah this is gonna be making a lot of noise and the hook is right here in the rear okay you guys can see some silicone and it has a hackle right there and very very thin sharp hooks as usual jackal always has some thin super thin hooks and uh, they're all they are always sharp so uh, it's perfect for bfs because bfs rods are a little bit flimsier compared to you know the bigger lures where you need to you know uh, the harder rods and stuff like that, right? So this is gonna be cool. Um, I guess I'll be fishing some top water in the early season or even in throughout the summer because of uh, the cicadas. This is gonna be fun, very fun lure. All right, so guys, check these out here. We got a lot of spearheads from Duel. Uh, th these are some amazing, amazing jerk baits. So the numbers here represent the length. So 45 millimeters, 50 millimeters. The S stands for sinking. Uh, the F here stands for floating, okay? And I'll take one out. I guess I'll take uh, this guy out because it probably looks the best to me. So let me just grab this guy out. All right, check this patty out. Oh, beautiful. Super duper beautiful finish. 
Love the prism uh, reflection off the body. The colors is perfect for my waters. I love to throw stuff with the green on it. And this, these, this is olive green, in my opinion. If you guys know me, I love these dark greens, uh, like olive, sculpin, those fly dark green colors, like woolly buggers. These, these are my favorite, okay? Uh, and then you have uh, the lighter bottom, typical um, fish that you see in my waters. Green, uh, usually dark brown, greenish, and then bottom's always lighter. So this is this is great. Uh, these are barbed hooks, okay, barbed hooks. So I would have to swap off to single hooks. But yeah, other than that, this this looks freaking fantastic. Um, this one here looks good too. This one looks good too. This one is more of a flat color versus these two right here are prism colors, okay. So yeah, these these are great. Uh, let me read the weights off for you guys. Uh, since I'm not familiar with these, uh, this Ryuki 45S is 4 grams. This guy here is the 50 floating version is 2.8 grams. Okay. And this guy here is, is probably 4.5 4 grams. Okay, cool. Wow, that is some awesome stuff, guys. All right, so I looked at this box here, the Sparehead Ryuki, and I was like, why is it red compared to the other ones? And I looked a little closer. Apparently, this is a custom painted uh, jerkbait from D3 Custom Lures, and they call it the Parakeet. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. I don't know if you guys uh, um, hold on to special edition stuff and just not use it, or do you guys use it? Should I put it in some sort of case? I don't know. What do you guys typically do when you guys run into this? Uh, I was just gonna fish it. So uh, let me know. So this is it. This is my biggest JDM unboxing and thank you, thank you Bait Finesse Empire for making this happen. I am pretty stoked and excited for this season. Like there's just so much stuff here that I'll be using. Uh, definitely can't use them all in one trip. So uh, yeah, you guys gotta stay tuned for when I actually go out there and use these stuff. But you guys definitely, definitely need to check out uh, Amir's Bait Finesse Empire. I've left links in the description below. Don't forget to follow him on Instagram. You can watch uh, all the stuff that he be bringing in. Because right now he's setting up his store and everything like that. He's kind of busy, but uh, he is, you know, making orders. And he's going to be taking pictures and putting up on uh, his Instagram. But also he's have to do all, uh, I guess, inventory for his website too. So it's, it's gonna be up soon. He told me it's soon, but he didn't really give me an exact launch date. Uh, but whenever I find out, you guys gotta definitely be the first one to know because Jimbo is gonna let you guys know, of course. Because the fish don't wait, you know? Why would I make you guys wait, right? So I'm gonna find out and I'll let you guys know. Thank you for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite uh, stuff that I've shown today in this video. And uh, if there's anything you guys want to recommend me, Feel free to drop it in the comments below. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a happy spring fishing adventure. I am stoked.